Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CPU Nerds video series on STL algorithm series and this video is about STDIOTA. So with the help of this function, you can put data incrementally into your containers. So this is how it works. So, so if you see here, you have list, you can have vector, array and stuff, then you give the size. So this list is having 10 size and if you say that IOTA begin to end of the same list and you assign some number you can say uh, from 0 so from 0 to 9 meaning total 10 size will go into this list and if i will print it it will go from 0 to 9 and not only number if you concentrate here what i am doing i am creating a vector of size whatever the size this list have meaning it is 10 so vector is going to have 10 size but the type is this meaning it is going to store iterators of list for 10 time and if i apply the same iota function and say that vector begin to vector end and this time take list begin meaning start from this one and if i will iterate over the vector you will get the same result what you had here so let me compile this if i'll execute this this is how the result would look like so 0 to 9 is for this for loop the first one and then after that 0 to 9 as you can see here is for this for loop so if i will give minus 5 here let's do that minus 5 so minus 5 is the initial value then it will start decrementing it sorry will start incrementing then it will become minus 4, minus 3, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, something like this. So let's compile this again and execute this. See, minus 5, 4, 3, 2, minus 1, and then till 4, it was initialized into this list. And then this vector is constructed, and we are saying that we want to point out the iterator of this list. So this is how it will work. So now we are having vector filled with the same values and actually this vector is pointing to the iterators of this list only okay so whatever this list is having this vector will point to that one only so that's why it is repeated minus 4 3 2 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 the so same will come here so this is actually very good function if you want to populate some data into your vector list array you will just simply do this and you will give the start of that value it will keep on incrementing and the push will happen so let's read this fills the range whatever the range you give including first excluding last with sequentially increasing values and starting with the value and repetitively evaluate plus plus value so here i have given minus one so plus plus will become four i mean minus four then minus three minus two minus one zero one two three four like this so now if you need sequential data in your container you can have it with this iota function so with this, I'll conclude this video. Thanks for watching guys. Keep learning. Be safe. So till next video. Bye bye. Take care.